Good afternoon and welcome to your weekly FX Options Report. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2011. In midweek trade, the major U.S. stock averages are seeing mixed to flat trading. The Federal Reserve and Greece are in the spotlight. The Federal Reserve left interest rates unchanged as had been widely expected at historic lows. Meanwhile, the Fed uh, funds rate is expected to remain unchanged for an extended period of time. Fed Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke will be addressing the press in a conference uh, later this afternoon. And over in Greece um, on Tuesday evening, uh, the confidence vote had been passed as, been, as had been widely expected. Now that the uh, confidence vote has been passed, austerity measures uh, will need to be passed in order to avoid a default. Now, uh, moving on to the spot effects market, the U.S. dollar is trading mixed in midweek trade. The dollar is higher against both the euro and pound, but weaker against the yen. Now, the euro is seeing some uh, downward pressure and it has been coming off its gains, uh, which had been seen before the Greek confidence vote. Meanwhile, the U.K. pound is trading lower and this does follow the latest Bank of England minutes. Now the BOE voted a 7 to 2 to keep rates on hold and also there are some dovish comments out from the BOE. Now one way to trade your views on US dollar strength or weakness is to take a look at IC's FX options. One advantage is that they are US dollar denominated. For more information you can go to www.fxoptions.com. And in your next segment, which is your daily trend opinion, we'll take a look at the individual IC FX option pairs, starting out with the AUX, the U.S. currency, against the Australian dollar. Now, for that pair, the downside does prevail. As long as the resistance at 98 is not breached, the risk of a break below the 90.75 level is high. Therefore, the preference of trading central analysts for the AUX is short positions below the pivot of 98, with targets coming in at 90.75 and 89.15 in extension. For the BPX, the U.S. dollar against the British pound, that pair is under pressure. It is also approaching its resistance ahead of further weakness, and therefore the preference of trading central analysts is short positions below the pivot of uh, 62 and a half with targets coming in at 60 and a half and 59.75 in extension. Moving on to the CDD, the U.S. currency against the CAD, the key short-term resistance uh, stands at 99.30. The RSI is mixed with a bearish, uh, bearish bias and therefore the preference of trading central analysts is short positions below 99.30 with targets coming in at 94.50 and 93 in extension. Moving on to the EUI, the U.S. dollar against the euro, that pair is also under pressure. Now that pair is struck against its resistance and should face further weakness. Therefore, the preference of trading central analysts for the EUI uh, is short positions below 71.50 with targets coming in at 68 and 67 in extension. Moving on to the SFC, the U.S. dollar against the Swiss franc, the downside prevails. The RSI is capped by a declining trend line and remains within a bearish channel. Therefore, the preference of trading central analysts is short positions below 87.50, with targets coming in at 82.75 and 80.65 in extension. Last but not least, let's take a quick look at the YUK, the US dollar, against the Japanese yen. Now, for that pair, it is under pressure and it is also approaching its next support. Therefore, the preference of trading central analysts for the YUK is short positions below 82.50, with targets coming in at 79.50 and 78.25 in extension. And last but not least, let's take a look at your weekly trend opinion for the major ICFX option pairs. Last week, the U.S. currency continued its weakening trend against the major currencies. And in terms of portfolio performance since its inception, which was in August of 2007, it is higher by 2,426.24%. Uh, and since the beginning of this year, January 2011, it is higher by 591 0.24%. We do have two trade alerts for you right now, including puts on the SKA and puts on the PZO. Now, starting out with the puts on the SKA, the US dollar against the Swedish krona, that pair does stand below its new resistance or former support and should face further weakness. Regarding puts on the PZO, the US currency against the Mexican peso, uh, that pair has struck against its resistance and should face a further down move as the RSI does remain capped by medium term declining trend line. Trading central analysts will also be keeping a close eye on the EUI, the BPX, the YUK, and the SFC this week. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at next week's trading action. Uh, trading central analysts will be keeping a close eye on the next uh, three pairs, including the CDD, the AUX, and the NZD. For the CDD, it has struck against its resistance at 99.30 and should face a further down move while the daily RSI is turning lower. And for the AUX, it stands below its strong resistance at 98. 
and the daily RSI is capped by medium-term declining trend line. Last but not least for the NZD, it remains on the downside and does not show any reversal signs. And that does wrap it up for your weekly FX Options report. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday for your latest update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.